Yes, my friends, there are 60 lanes here at the Forum, a chandelier for each pair, so it figures that there are 30 of those beauties. This is Grand Prairie. Next week, Harvey, Louisiana, and we're delighted to go back for the Don Carter Greater New Orleans Open. That's next week, two weeks from today, to Venice, Florida, the Bowler's Journal, Florida Open. And then across the state to Miami for the Miami Classic. That's February 13th. And that's the day the Olympics begin here on ABC, and Mark Roth, an Olympian in bowling for sure, just eliminated his roommate 223 to 212 with six strikes. And Chris, a man who has never been tested in the championship round on the professional bowlers tour going against bowling's greatest star, Mark Roth. Bob Benoit stayed right near the top all the way and he has chosen to let Roth start the match. That means Roth will throw the last ball if there's one shot to be thrown for the money. So here we go, championship round, 12th Quaker State Open. $41,000 at stake in this one head-to-head -head match in Grand Prairie. Rough. First frame. Now, let's learn more about Bob Benoit. He's 33 years old, now living in Topeka, Kansas. Former Dallas resident. Said he'd like to come back to the Big D. And uh, he's back this week in bowling for sure. Tournament leader. First shot. Capacity crowd here at the Forum Lanes. Watch the profile and the five-step full approach delivery of Bob Benoit. Look at him roll that ball back on the wrist, much like Jimmy Keith, who we saw last year a couple times in the championship round. Then release that wrist underneath the ball. That what initiates the tremendous hook power that has made Benoit so successful in his comeback. He didn't have that type of shot when he came out here in the early 80s. He was a straight ball player. This championship pair, two games on it during competition. He had 245 and 241, by far the best of the five on this pair. I wonder if he surprised Roth coming out that aggressively in his first championship round. I think this guy is unshakable, though. Look at those eyes. He knows how to throw strikes. They're all even after two frames. Mark Roth, power player, going against another young blossoming, not really young, a new timer to the newcomer to the tour, Bob Benoit, another power player. Roth does it with just tremendous snap and much, not as much hook. Bob Benoit has a real good smooth roll. As you see, Roth's reaction to that strike, one of many in his career. As I said, Benoit throws the big hook ball type of power. So here, the match is all even. Third frame. Leaving a four pin, this man in his third television appearance. Previous two, he finished second, finished fourth. Now he has a chance to finish first. But he's against Bob Benoit, the tournament leader. Roth led for the first few rounds of this Quaker State Open. Average 222, 42 games. Final 24 games, he won 19 and lost five. Last night, seven of eight. He backed off for no one. Everybody said he'd falter, and then they predicted today that he would bend under the pressure of Roth, but he hasn't so far. Well, this 33-year-old has a three-bagger. Good numbers for Bob Benoit. Watch how Bob Benoit holds that ball. He just rolls it back on his wrist. He used to be a straight ball player where he held his wrist flat. He started practicing with uh, a light ball so he could do that. And he still only uses a 15-pound ball, Chris. I have not seen any pros been mm -hmm. successful, especially right-handers on the Pro Tour with a 15-pound ball. Some of the left-handers have tried it. Mike Albee tried it, and Dave Davis, uh, two of the great lefties, have tried it. But they could play a little bit more outside angle. Benoit doing it on the right side is just amazing. He has so much a big hook. 
and a professional that's five feet nine inches tall and weighs 130 pounds has four in a row in the title game. Mark Roth, 18 year professional with 33 titles. Spare up, shooting in the fourth. Oh, he needed that to stay close. Oof. Because his opponent is open with a four bagger. The championship pair uh, been very evenly distributed in the strikes. Look at lane 39 through three games, or three and a half games now as we've gone through four frames. Lane 40, 25 strikes, spares equal, and open frames equal. So a well-balanced pair, although the left-hand lane hooks a little bit more. Roth has been around the pocket all four shots. He has three strikes, but Benoit, his opponent, has been perfect so far. Roth eliminated Joe Berardi, last week's winner. Now has answered back with a double and now trails by only 11, but that can change because Benoit has four in a row, shooting in the fifth. Bob Benoit, who relinquished himself to regional play, won three regional championships in the last couple of years, Corpus Christi, Texas, Denison, Texas, and McAllen, but this is his first chance at a national title. The tournament leader, in order where we asked him if he felt he had an edge going into the title game. Well, I think with the hometown crowd pulling uh, for me here, since I used to bowl league in this house, that'll help considerably. But uh, I kind of look at it this way. I, uh, uh, I've got a 50-50 chance of winning, and uh, I've got nothing to lose, so I'm just going to go for broke. Bowl league in this house, Chris. Mm -hmm. What a way to go for broke. He's perfect through five. If he can get six more, two value hardware. We'll be happy to present him with a hundred thousand dollar check. As you're looking at Susan Benoit, little lady from Topeka, and that is not thinking about that. I'm sure, but if it would, what pressure that is? Hundred thousand. No doubt, he still has to get by this man. This match is long from over. Double up. Shot a 223 with six strikes against Berardi's 212. 223, 212. You know, the keys to shooting a big game sometimes, Chris, there's somebody making you or pulling you along like a pacer in a mile race. Roth right now is the pacer for Benoit as he's perfect, but don't count Roth out. Roth out, five out of six strikes. Can cut the lead of Benoit's down to 11 with a strike here. Unmarkable. Unshakable, Mark Roth. And I'll tell you as an opponent, you don't like to see a guy come up and throw a shot like this. This is a ripper. He hits the five pin right in the face, drives it over into the seven, has cut the lead of Benoit's, even though he's perfect, down to just 11 pins through six frames. And for Benoit, he has reached the seventh frame. <laughs> 